Now others claim the children did not get wet when it rained while they were in ecstasy. That, it, it may be because uh, I heard that several times and uh, many times when they was just raining they didn't seem like being wet. But other times yes. Not all the time. Other people, yes. Not all. Not all. Sometimes, sometimes. Wet and sometimes uh -huh. uh, dry. Uh -huh. In your written report to the Bishop of Santander and his commission, did you mention any such inexplicable phenomena? Well, of course, I. The, that report was, uh, was uh, everything I did just uh, saying the fact. And for me, there are facts that I do know how to explain them. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there are persons that they can explain or not. Huh? But there are some that I myself, I cannot explain them. And I put whatever at that moment was under my knowledge in that report. And I send it to the bishop, yes. Mm -hmm. And that was the nature of your report to the bishop, mm -hmm. just presenting the facts. The facts, yes. Yeah. No commentary on him. No, that's not my, my job. Now, were any signs given to you directly during the apparitions to make you believe the visionaries? Any signs that would urge you to believe the visionaries? Well, when you, when you speak about believe the visionaries, I can tell you that I believe almost a hundred percent that they were not mm, doing a comedy. Everything that they happened, happened. What I don't, can't say is what is the reason. If the reason is natural, psychological, supernatural, that is not uh, really my concern now to me and it's not my duty. But what I can swear is that over the 95% at least, I said 100% is true, no comedy. They were made no comedy at all. Mm -hmm. It was not a comedy, it was something serious. Mm -hmm. Did you experience any cures, conversions, or any good coming from the objects, the objects kissed by the Virgin at Garabanda? Well, cures is very difficult for me to speak about cures because for that uh, belongs to the doctors and after examination. Conversions, yes. They came several to me and after long years and years without uh, receiving the sacraments, they changed completely. That's true. I'm a witness of that and they came to me and I know that they came to other places. The priest says, well, huh? well, that's really tremendous. And the spiritual uh, cure is much more important for us than the physical cure. Why do you think that after 20 years, the apparitions of Garabana are still believed by many throughout the world? Well, <clears throat> I don't know, but uh, I think that one of the reasons is because the things that happened, happened. As I told you, it was no comedy. And then people read the things, people is moved for the things they read, and people they go and see. And at least now it's a kind of place for prayer. Almost uh, in summer, almost every day, uh, a bus and many cars they go over there. I haven't been there until last. Uh, summer it have been two hours, so 20 years without being there. 20 years, mm -hmm. not in Garabanda, mm -hmm. and recently spending but two hours. Just two hours. Uh, can you describe any ecstatic falls that you witnessed? Oh yes, many, many. It's like a light, I mean, that when they fall to kneel in the, in the fall, yes, it's unbelievable. Without getting hurt. Oh, yeah, of course. It's one fraction of a second. Mm -hmm. And there are some movies taken and then that you can see that. Mm -hmm. Yes, I see. If I say 50 or more times, I 
think that still is not enough. Mm -hmm. Did you ever witness a levitation raising up? No, not myself. I remember that Don Jose Ramon Garcia de la Riva, the pastor of Barro in Asturias, he told me that uh, he saw at least once, but not me. In the case of levitation. And he proved passing some gain, mm -hmm. but not me. There are yeah. slides that uh, yeah. have been taken of levitation, and uh, you can't uh, 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 cheat a camera. The camera what? takes what it sees. So you might be analyzed. Uh, there have been reports that since 1965, on many occasions, groups of pilgrims to Garabandal have seen the sun whirl in the sky and take on a form likened to the Eucharist, similar to the great miracle that took place at Fatima in 1917. Do you know of any of these reports from reliable sources? Well, the, end, the only one I know is from that uh, priest, the Jesuit, from India. That's the Venus. The Venus. Yes, but no, no more. Mm -hmm. That's the only report I know. Is Garabandal an extension of Fatima? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's like if you ask me, it's the Fatima station of Lourdes. Correct, yes. Uh -huh. Now, what are your reflections on Garabanda today, 20 years after the apparitions? Well, the reflection, the first is that in all my life, these days and these facts has been the most exciting. And I don't think that anything can happen in my life similar to that. Yeah. Now, Father, what, what is the main devotion? Lourdes, the Rosary, Fatima, also the Rosary. What is the main devotion of Garabandal? I think it's the Eucharist and the priesthood. 